Good morning. It is Monday, September 18, 2023. Jump date for Tuesday the 19th. All right, let's go. With no setups tonight, we're getting closer. We've got a couple in here if you really feel like you need something to do. And I'll show you that in just one second. In fact, let's hop there now. We'll take a look at the portfolio, too. Not a good day, obviously. UEC really caught my eye in here. One thing I hate, I, I do like the, the nice, big, fat TKO bar. It could even actually be bigger. But I hate when they're so close to their prior old high. Technically, it's still a TKO. Technically, it's okay looking. I just like to see some correction in uranium and for TKO in general. I'd like to see it close a little bit closer to its lows. So maybe if the dollar continues to rally or something, we'll see a little bit of a sell-off in some of these commodities. And they are still oversold, overbought, I mean, longer term. CDLX was one I really thought about. The problem here is the TKO's okay. It does give up quite a bit of this last little leg, which is a bit of a drift. That's another issue. But again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an entry right here at the prior highs. I do like the way that it really got slammed, but I hate to get in so close to the prior highs. And then given the market conditions in general, it's hard to get excited about anything other than something that's commodity related. Speaking of commodity related, back to the energies. This one looks okay. It can use a little bit more knockout. The problem is lots of overhead supply here. Maybe if you want to go in for a day trade or a swing trade, it's some of these while we're waiting on setups that might be a possible alternative. And we'll talk a little bit more about uranium when we get to the market. Before we do that, let's just get rid of that portfolio real quick. I'll bang it out, I should say. KBH, a little bit of a bounce. It looks like it's in trouble longer term. So it looks like the mother of all tops remains in place there. You know the shorts sometimes be a pain in the buttocks. KNF losing steam in here, unfortunately, crawling back down toward the bottom of its range. So obviously, honor your stops just in case. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know the game, or you know how the game is played. LF, LFMD, he tried to say, a bit of a bummer. Keep trying to, it keeps trying to break out of the top of this range, but keeps coming back in. So that's obviously a bit of a bummer. Let's take a look at the overall market and some sector action and uranium and things like that. First of all, well, let's take a look at spot uranium while we're talking about it. As you can see, uranium is... Pretty much straight up in here. Now, I'm keeping an eye on the ETF for the uh, stocks. In fact, we'll take a look at that right now. That's U R A. I like to see a little bit more knockout in here. Again, other than a day trade, I don't see a reason to go after uranium at this juncture. I'd like to see some correction in this bull trend that we've been in. Let's take a look at the P's off their best levels. Really pretty much a flat day. Kind of remaining in Choppyville in here. Let's get some moving averages in there. As you can see, still below the 50 simple moving average, a little lantern light there, and also below the bow tie moving averages, just chopping sideways. And I was drawing sideways lines earlier today, and you can see you can go all the way back to June, and we haven't had any forward progress since then. So that's a, a clue right there that we're not doing so so great. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ kind of ended in Flatsville after a bit of a uh, opening gap reversal in here. You can see both time moving averages are turning back down well below the 50 simple moving average. Still has a bit of a head and shoulders top look to it, so that's kind of ugly. As I preach, a few big updates would make all the difference in the world, but obviously that would have to happen for the market to improve. Rusty, save as it ever was. In fact, it actually ended down Oh, just a little bit more than half of a percent. But it's right here at these multi-month lows. So that's certainly not a good thing if you pay attention to the closing lows and closing highs. Those are very important areas to watch because you have a bit of a stealthy move that happens. And then when it takes out the old lows, sometimes it can get a little ugly when that occurs. It's sort of the thinking behind the buy at B, except buy at B has a euphoria behind it. Energy's a little bit of a bounce. First correction here, we should see some setup. So... Get ready to get ready between energies and uranium, which I know are both technically energies. But we'll, we'll look to go after both of those. We could see some decent setups fairly soon, as I've been preaching. I promise. We're getting closer and closer. And here's the thing. This is why, or one of the reasons why, it's hard for me to get excited about the market other than indices look at toppy. Take a look at biotech today. It's another one of these areas that's breaking down in here. It's bow tied to the downside. Wide and loose on all over the place. I don't, I'm not sure we're going to see any shorts here. But it's looking sort of ugly. And each day it seems like we have a debacle du jour. Defense rallying a little bit. But as you know, it was a recent debacle du jour or a couple debacle du jours, as you can see. So that's kind of looking ugly to MNC. A little tiny bit of a bounce today, but to close off its best levels. Actually, ended lower by the end of the day. So you can see right here at these multi-month lows. And again, another stealthy closing low. So that's not a good 
thing. So overall, I mean, I hate to pull up too many sectors, but you kind of get the idea. Overall, it's a little ugly out there. Civis bounced a little bit, but they look pretty toppy. The good news is the bottom of the range held, but you can't hang your hat on that. Bow ties have flipped back over to downtrend in proper order, and we're well below that 50 simple moving average. But all these areas, or most of these areas, are, are toppy, or I'm sorry, choppy at best, and a lot of areas are toppy, as I just showed you. So I think now's the time to continue to sit on your hands and let things shake out. But do get ready to get ready in uranium and the energies. I think that's it for tonight. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.